just so you know, my former accountant left me for a job in Hawaii. Um, now, she did a really good job, and I expect you to do the same. And I assure you, it won't be easy. I'm not really familiar with QuickBooks, Mr. Castle. No problem. QuickBooks is easy to learn. Stop by my office this afternoon. Hey, you. Must be my new accountant. Hey, Mr. Castle? Pleasure to meet you. You too. This is where you'll be working. Okay. Have a seat. Yeah. First off, I'd like you to know that Rockcastle keeps a record of transactions with all of its employees, vendors, and customers. So if we don't know who owes us money, we can't collect it, can we? Makes sense. Now we also need to keep track of our purchases from vendors. Alright. Alright? Yeah. Now if we don't get our bills and we don't keep track of them, we can't pay our vendors. And if we can't pay our ve vendors on time, they won't buy from us, will they? Nope. Makes sense. Also, we need to keep our employees happy. And one way to do that is to pay them the right amount at the right time. Do you want to get paid on the right time? I would. Do you want to be happy? Yes. Make sure you keep track of our bills. All right. QuickBooks allows Rockcastle to keep track of all our transactions, okay? And without those, we won't be able to make important business decisions that we need later in the future. So your first assignment is to learn QuickBooks. Started. Welcome to chapter one. This chapter focuses on a few key tasks you should learn when starting QuickBooks. This is how to restore a backup copy. First, you need to go to File and click Open or Restore Company. Now choose Restore a Backup Copy and click Next. Select Local Backup and click Next again. Now using the data files that you got with the disk in your book, select Chapter 1 and click Open. Next. And I'm going to save mine as Future CEO's Chapter 1. You should save yours using your name. then go ahead and click Save. Once it is restored, you can now see the QuickBooks homepage. And restoring your copy of QuickBooks Chapter 1 is that easy. In order to change the company name, click Company at the top of the toolbar. Go to Company Information. On your company name, change it to whatever you desire. For us, it would be Future CEOs at MaxQ. Click OK, and then you're done. Now we're going to change the checking account. To change the checking account, go to the chart of accounts under Company, right click Checking. Change the name to whatever you would like. In our case, we're going to make it Future CEO's Checking. After you change the name, hit Save and Close, and you're done. First, you click on the File menu, click Save a Copy or Backup, click on the Backup Copy, then you click Next, choose Local Backup, then click Next, and I'm going to save to my desktop, then click OK. And then you click OK again to save, choose the Save Now option, and then click Next, and I'm going to save mine as Future CEOs Chapter 1. And then click Save. The first thing to do when exporting a spreadsheet to Excel is to go to the Report Center. I'm just going to pick any report. Profit and loss sounds good to me. So once we open it up, go up to 
export. Now you have two options when exporting. You can either export to an existing Excel spreadsheet using the browse feature you would find that. Then you would put it in an existing spreadsheet or a new spreadsheet. I'm just going to export mine to a new Excel file. Click export and wait for it to load. Now you'll have to go into Excel and open it up and when you do there is that same profit and loss sheet we just saw in QuickBooks. Exporting can be very handy if you don't feel like wasting a lot of paper or if you need to turn in files electronically. And that's how you export. Now it's time to close and exit. Go to File and click Close Company. This prevents users from reopening QuickBooks and using your file. To exit, just click on the X on the toolbar. And that's it for Chapter 1. Wait, I'm the 12th caller? What do I win? A cruise? Yeah, I'll, I'll stay on hold. I have to go. Hey you, Sir. I need a profit and loss statement for November and I haven't received any financial statements since my former accountant left. I'm working on it. Alright? Yes sir. Alright, and from now on, I need a profit and loss statement and a balance sheet on my desk by the first of each month. Alright, got it.